If he's taking you out, he better be paying for everything. Like, that means flowers, all that. Like, I will be courted. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Ari and I want to continue the girl series, the girl talk series. As you guys see in the background, um, it's still sunset hour so don't mind those changes of light. I wanted to film some content right before I the sun went down. I still want to film more content for you guys that is like non-vlog related so I'm about to just I know that I have asked for a list of suggestions on like Instagram to what type of content and what type of topics you guys want me to talk about during this girl talk today's conversation is going to be around dating okay I've made a couple of videos in the past talking about like dating red flags or like dating tips but I think now that I'm in a bit more of a stable place in terms of actually taking the time to date other people and to learn ex learning experience from each time so I think I just wanted to sit and condense a video for you guys. I will be talking about five things I learned through dating last summer. So let's get started. Last summer I was out of a one year and a half relationship. That summer after I took some time you know to heal I started dating again. Criteria number one, there must be light out. You must and I repeat must have your first meetup broad daylight it has to be outside it has to be in public it has to be sun has to be out like no man woman or person is taking you serious if you're pulling up at 9 p.m to their crib that is sneaky link booty call hours so if you're going on a first date with someone i would recommend sometime in like the early morning or the afternoon depending if you have that type of availability or even after work but again past eight o'clock and they want to see you unless it's like You've been on dates with them before, during the day, they want to fuck, okay? Sneaky link. Something about meeting up with a person during the day just like, it kind of just shows you like who they are, like how attentive they are, or, like how present they are, and you can learn a lot just based off like what time you guys want to meet up. Like I know I went on dates with people where we met up at like 10 a.m. That right there already told me like, oh yeah, like they probably are a morning bird and they have a routine going on or like, just little stuff like that really helps you're not hiding this ain't roach season like if he wants to meet you at night you're a roach and i know you're better than that so carry on step number two for dating um i recommend at least talking to them for a week before meeting in person and let me tell you why i've had really great dates with people where we have met same day and it was pretty cool but i've also had a, a bunch of dates where we met same day and it was really bad i think giving it like a week or at least like five days minimum of like talking to get to know them and stuff you kind of prepared for what you're going to see in person whereas same day like they could be really cool texting that one day but in person be dry like so i say give it at least five days some people who tend to appreciate and like like the more oh we meet same day and if that works for you cool but me personally um i found a l higher likelihood of successful dates when i was talking to the person for at least five days before we met up in person before you even go on dates in the first place guys like please sit down and make a list of things that you prefer in a partner and what you're looking for if you're looking for something more on the casual side or looking for something short term um this may or may not apply to you right now um, my video is more aimed at giving dating advice for people who are looking for like long term or at least like a year plus situations. Don't let me stop your bag. Like if you want to do something casual and you want something short term, shit, meet them at night, do what you gotta do. But this is for the girlies who are looking to be potentially in a long term relationship or at least working towards it. Step number three is to make that list, sit and actually think to yourself like okay these are things that I appreciate in a partner these are things that I want in a partner these are things I desire for a partner and like write your non-negotiables because the more specific and the more you go through your list and you're fine-tuning like traits and stuff the better the dates are and the better candidates you'll be attracting to your dates I made a very specific list on things that are qualities and traits that I would appreciate in a partner and it helped a lot during the dating pool last thing make sure that when you do go on a date with someone depending on how comfortable you feel i personally always share my location with my friends when i know i'm going on a date with someone especially in an area where i'm not the most familiar in if a date were to be mid and you want to go home 
you're more likely to go home somewhere closer and you know the area versus I'm stuck, damn, I'm really stuck with this man. I would recommend going on the first like two to three dates in areas you know very like rigorously versus just going in some place like brand new. Make sure you figure out your transportation and just have your Uber app ready and have extra funds for that um, in case the date goes left. I think that's for sure. If you're not in a good state of mind, of like if you're not in a good place in your life, whether that be like mental health, career-wise, overall, if you're in a state of just chaos, you will attract chaotic partners. Whatever energy you put out in the universe, you receive it in tenfold sometimes. And that also includes, and it's not limited to romantic relationships. If you're in a partnership with someone where you feel like you're not growing, you're not progressing, you're not advancing to this person you want to be, they're probably hindering your light 9 out of 10 and it has to go. But yeah guys, um, those are my 5 tips on dating for the girlies. Con platano? Want some platano? A platano? Oh? No? And if you guys like more content like this, please comment, like, share, and subscribe below. And until the next video for the Girl Chat series, bye guys!